I will speak about the Second World War now. Look on the internet and in history books. It is a little known fact, but it is a fact that just before the beginning of the Second World War, England let Germany 100 million pounds, and that's about 10 billion dollars in today's money, to which Germany largely used to rearm their armies and buy uniforms, etc., and military equipment, which they used against England and the West. It is also a fact that might come as a revelation and a shock to many people, but a fact. Look it up. The West largely supported Hitler before he turned against the West and England. Before the war and right up until the Second World War was announced, the West nations largely supported Hitler because they thought that he would attack Russia and end communism, and Americans hate communism, and so does England, and all Western powers hate communism. That is why they lent him the hundred million pounds, and he turned against the West and fought against them. Now I will talk about the criminal gangs. The Mafia was a major criminal organization largely in the states that came from Sicily and Italy. It was almost completely put to an end in the early 1930s when they locked up Al Capone, the old-time and famous leader of the Mafia in the states, in New York City for tax evasion. They locked him up for 25 to 30 years in the famous or infamous Alcatraz on a little island in the middle of New York Harbor. By the way, Al Capone died of syphilis in Alcatraz only a few years later after he was imprisoned, because he was treated with royalty, and they brought in prostitutes for him, and he contracted the VD syphilis, and it went to his brain, and he went insane in the last several months of his life, and then died. After a couple of inmates escaped from Alcatraz in the 1940s, they closed it down and turned it into a museum and a tourist attraction. And then, once Al Capone was gone, they made a major stint on the Mafia and the Irish gang. The longtime enemies of the Mafia helped the government, and they made a major stint on the Mafia and locked up nearly all the top dogs in the Mafia throughout the United States, because many of the soldiers or the underlings dubbed out the HUD leaders of the Mafia and did deals with the cops. Nearly all of them went to prison for life. So, they are very little organization now, only taken over by the drug cartels of South America and Mexico since the 1960s and 70s, and the cartels are massive, selling cocaine, amphetamines, etc., and ice and crack.